specialist SMS technology company uh, based out of Dublin with customers around the world. Uh, we were looking for um, a company at that moment in time to re-establish our reputation in the market and re-establish our position in the market. I think a lot of the um, focus for us was identifying a company that had some sort of a global reach, understood our industry extremely well, and also uh, we could work with on a, on a personal level. I think when you're working with a PR company, it's important to have the right uh, relationship and dynamic. It's not just about putting out a script or anything like that. It's working with a company who can develop a story and a narrative that you then uh, build as part of the, or the almost the branding going forward in the company. And that's been, uh, Clash have been extremely good at working with us on that. I think one of the, uh, we had spoken to a number of different PR agencies um, in terms of what, what the propositions were and what the, the options were. We settled on a CLAT for uh, a number of reasons, not least the proposition, which is very much focused around their global reach, uh, the um, understanding of the telecoms market, which is our particular niche, uh, niche area, um, and also from uh, the point of view of, of being a woman in, in industry is having an understanding of um, what kind of a spokesperson that you are um, and the nuances associated with that that I felt the, the team in Eclat really understood and grasped and, and sort of worked with in terms of the, the message that we put out there. I think, uh, so f from a business point of view, it is almost like having a, an additional department within the company um, and being able to work with an organization like Eclat who, who understands that. Um, so they do the thinking that we don't need to do which is really, really helpful. So uh, being incredibly proactive, getting what our message is, getting what we want to communicate to the market, and being able to come to us with proposals um, and seeing whether or not we want to react to it or not um, is really, really important uh, from, from my point of view. And again, from a personal point of view, I think it's exactly that. It's about um, being able to have someone to do that kind of thinking. Uh, having some a group of people who have the interest, the industry understanding, and the knowledge of how it needs to be crafted in order to get the message out there is fundamental. So I think primarily is the team, an excellent team of people to work with, uh, who all know their trade, they know uh, what they're talking about, and they know how to get a message across. Um, I think their understanding of our industry particularly uh, has been really, really important. The third one, I think, is being able to craft a story to make sure that it has appeal when you're putting it out to the market. So it's not just about um, putting out whatever kind of information uh, you happen to come up with that day. They're very good at being able to set, tell you, frankly, whether or not it's going to work or not. And that's, that's an important piece of it, because we know then we're not wasting uh, effort and energy in terms of putting a story together, only for it not to get picked up by the uh, by the media, that's important. Anything else to add? Uh, yeah, you're all great.